Hello everyone. Here we will discuss about comparison of top COVID-19 vaccines. So now let's start. First of all, we will discuss about briefly uh, the vaccine types which can be nucleic acid type vaccine which use genetic material either RNA, DNA to provide cells with instructions to make the antigen and second one is second one is the whole virus type vaccine which use whole virus viruses to trigger an immune response and third one is protein subunit vaccines which use species of the pathogen often fragments of protein to trigger an immune response and fourth one type is in, uh, viral vector type which use vectors and work by giving cells genetic instructions to produce antigen so now, so now let's start First of all, we will discuss about messenger RNA type vaccines available for COVID-19, which are Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. Here is the comparison of the, of these two vaccines. Number first is vaccine name is VNT16262 common anti to Zinamarin, and the manufacturer of this vaccine is Pfizer BioNTech. Basically, Pfizer BioNTech is the pharmaceutical company which makes this vaccine and the developer country of this vaccine is United States and Germany. The dosage of this vaccine which we commonly call as Pfizer BioNTech vaccine is two short three weeks apart. The quantity of this vaccine is 0.3 ml and recommended age group for this vaccine is 16 years or older. You can save this Pfizer BioNTech vaccine at freezer level temperature which is minus 18 degrees centigrade. The effectiveness against Delta strain and Alpha strain. So now let's see the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine effectiveness against Delta strain. It is 88 percentage, and against Delta and against Alpha strain, it is 93.7 percentage. The side effects of Pfizer BioNTech include chills, headache, pain, tiredness, redness, and swelling at injection site, and diarrhea. Next, next is machine RNA 1273. This is the name of this vaccine, and this vaccine is manufactured by Moderna, which is pharmaceutical company is in the United States. And you require only two shots four weeks apart of this Moderna vaccine. And the quantity of this vaccine is 0.3 m 0.5 ml, and recommended age group for this vaccine is 18 years or older. And you can save this Moderna vaccine at minus 18 degrees centigrade, which is freezer level temperature and effectiveness of this Moderna vaccine against Delta strain it is 72 percentage and against Alpha strain it is 96 percentage. The side effects of this Moderna vaccine include chill, fever, headache, pain, tiredness, redness and swelling at injection site, underarm, and underarm swelling, joint edges, nausea and vomiting. Next, next is carrier or viral vector type vaccines. So for COVID-19, carrier or viral vector type vaccines are Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca, and Sputnik V. So here is the comparison of these three vaccines available for COVID-19, which are of carrier or viral. So now let's start. Vaccine name first is AD26COV2.5. And this vaccine is made by Johnson and Johnson, which is pharmaceutical company which make this vaccine. And the developer country of this vaccine is Belgium and United States. And you need only one shot to get fully vaccinate, uh, vaccinated against coronavirus. Its quantity is 0.5 ml and recommended age group for this vaccine is 18 years or older. You can store this vaccine at refrigerator level temperature which is 2 to 8 degrees centigrade and the effectiveness of this Johnson & Johnson vaccine against Delta strain is 67 percentage and against Alpha strain is 85 percentage. Its side effects include fatigue, fever, headache, injection site pain or myalgia. Injection site pain is also known as myalgia. Next vaccine is AZD122 Vexivria and this vaccine manufacturer is AstraZeneca or Covishield in India. This is the 
pharmaceutical company in United States which make this vaccine which we commonly known as AstraZeneca and the developer country of this vaccine is United States and Sweden. You require only two shots 8 to 12 weeks apart to get fully vaccinated against coronavirus and its quantity is 0.5 ml. Recommended age group for this AstraZeneca vaccine is 18 years or older. You can save this vaccine at refrigerator level temperature which is good. The effectiveness of AstraZeneca against Delta strain it is 67% and against Alpha strain it is 74.5%. The side effects of AstraZeneca vaccine includes common side effects include chills, headache, pain, tiredness, redness and swelling at injection site and rare side effects include reduced appetite, dizziness, sleepiness, sweating, swollen lymph glands and very rare side effects include very unusual blood clots and capillary leak syndrome. Next vaccine is Sputnik V or GAM COVID vac which is made by the Gamalia National Center of and Microbiology. The developer country is Russia and you require only two shorts three weeks apart of this Sputnik V vaccine to get fully vaccinated against coronavirus and its quantity is 0.5 ml and recommended age group for this vaccine is 18 years or older and you can save this vaccine at refrigerator level temperature which is 2 to 8 degrees centigrade the effectiveness of Sputnik 5 vaccine against Delta strain it is 82 percentage and against Del Alpha sorry against Delta strain it is 82 percentage and against Alpha strain it is 92 percentage the side effects of Sputnik V vaccine include flu-like illness, headache, fatigue, injection site pain, asthma, which is the lack of energy and diarrhea. These are the common side effects of Sputnik V. Next, next are the inactivated virus type vaccines, which are Sinovac and here is the comparison of these two vaccines. So now let's start. Vaccine name is Virocells Inactivated Coronavac and the manufacturer is Sanovac which is the pharmaceutical company which makes this vaccine and the developer country for this vaccine is China. You require only two shows two to four weeks apart to get fully vaccinated against coronavirus and its quantity is 0.5 ml. Recommended age group for this vaccine is 18 to 60 years and you can save this vaccine at refrigerator level temperature which is 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. The effectiveness against Delta strain is the 59 percentage and against alpha strain it is 70.2 percentage. The side effects of Sinovac vaccine include muscle itches, tiredness, redness and pain at injection site. Next, next is SARS-CoV-2 vaccine or virus cells inactivated and which, and which is made by Sinopharm or this vaccine is commonly called as BIP vaccine or Sinopharm vaccine. The developer country is China. You require only two short, two to four weeks apart to get fully vaccinated and its quantity is 0.5 ml. The recommended age group for this vaccine is 18 to 60 years. You can save this vaccine at refrigerator level temperature which is 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. The effectiveness of Sinopharm vaccine against Delta strain it is 70 percentage and against alpha strain it is a 78 to 85 percentage. The common side effects of Sinopharm vaccine include headache, muscle itches, injection site pain or lethargy. Next, next is subunit or protein based vaccine which is Novavax. Manufacturer vaccine name is Novavax. Novavax is basically the pharmaceutical company in United States which make this vaccine and its, com its, its real name is NVXUV2373 and its developer country is United States and its dosage is two shows 21 days apart. Its quantity is 0.5 ml and recommended age group for this vaccine is 18 to 84 years. 
you can save this vaccine at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade which is refrigerator level temperature and effectiveness of this novavax against alpha strain is 93.2 percentage and against delta strain it is not uh, confirmed yet and it is being studied and the common side effects of this vaccine include fatigue headache muscle pain and this nova vaccine is also known as covavax in india which is made by serum institute of india sii and and in india it is being used by the name of covavax so here it was the comparison you can you can you can uh, take screenshot of uh, each comparison and it would be the best comprehensive information for you all thank you for watching Please subscribe, like, share and comment below. Thank you everyone.